Well, how you doing? Doing a little cooking tonight. Gonna work on 1361 a little while. Uh, making some uh, broccoli rabe with sun-dried tomatoes. Mashed potatoes going over there. Right? Actually, the potatoes boiling. And over here in the oven, I got a nice little roast pork going over there. I'll have a salad. We're gonna be all right. Um, I'm gonna cook while we're talking. Just recently, someone wrote on the Chasky about uh, making diaphragms. Well, that was Lisa Stelney, who I happen to know. And uh, now, Lee, uh, I'm making this particularly for you. This video I'm making particularly for you, Lee. Um, I want you to make note of the choice of the music that I used during the folding operation. It's not really that hard to do. I always had felt it was pretty hard, but it really isn't that bad. Um, I haven't actually tried it with the material, but I've just folded the paper to get the idea on how to do it. So that's what I'm going to show you in a little while. I'm going to show you how to do bend the paper and show that it's not that bad to do and I'm going to give you a website to be able to um, follow some instructions so maybe you be able to make your own diaphragms that work. Maybe we should make a, like a, a cooking live steam show like we'll convert, com, combine it, cooking and live steam. I mean what the heck, I'm making steam ain't I? That's steam over there. So. Well, I'm just finishing up the last little bit here. I'm telling you, it's delicious. Nothing can beat that. So now, I guess we'll start folding some diaphragms. <laughs> see it's not as simple as it looks 
basically you just fold the material in accordion fashion and then you um, try to get the opposite fold in out in out in out so on and then you continue around now the website explains that I haven't checked it out yet but um, it really is not that bad it might be easier with cloth or um, a vinyl the ones I have from railroad supply have a vinyl outside with a cloth inside and there's also strips inside here to back these up to strengthen it and they suggest using um, like a folder material like a file folder material cut it up in strips uh, but I don't know how that would handle outside usage if it got wet or something I'm thinking a little bit more like plastic some kind of a thin plastic that you could probably get from like a company called Plastistruct they make half inch wide and say you wanted to make the folds half inch wide that uh, could be glued inside if you follow the instructions that are in the website and it explains to you what to do and how, what shape to make them and how to size them and it's primarily used for um, camera bellows for making cameras the old time box cameras and I, I have a few of those cameras but um, they're made out of a some kind of a special material that light can't penetrate but that's how they're done and I've always was a mystery to me how to make these folds go the opposite way but I guess if you you know if you notice the way I started doing it I started pushing it together and pushing one down with my finger and then you know just keep working it down because I'm only working with one corner now I guess you could you know how you're going to go around doing the rest of it I, I have no idea but that's I guess practice makes perfect so give it a try what can I tell you I'm going to try it and if I make diaphragms uh, for my cars the P7 Pensy P7 coaches I'm going to design them around the existing cars that are out today like railroad supply see if that size comes close to what I need so that anybody could use them uh, on any of their cars and I don't know about mountain car company I'll have to check a couple of mountain car company uh, vestibule passageways and see if they the, the one uh, diaphragm could do all of those cars so um, there's another fabulous YouTube video thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you out the track coming up pretty soon